Here's a patient where we're going to perform a root canal on tooth number 29. The patient was struck by a baseball pitching batting practice. He's actually a practicing laser dentist in Oregon and he flew to Whitefish for me to perform pips on this tooth. He wanted to experience what pips was all about since he had been performing pips himself. He wanted to understand what it actually felt like. So he flew here for me to perform the root canal procedure and subsequent Sarah crown on his tooth and plus we had a little ski trip on the side here because Whitefish is known for its world-class skiing. You can see I'm opening up my access using the R02 tipless handpiece. You can also use the R14 tipped handpiece if you so desire. I'm exposing the pulp chamber and you'll note there's virtually zero vital tissue here. This tooth was non-vital. And I know you're dying for me to answer this question. Was the patient anesthetized? Most of the time when I'm performing endodontics, unless I know the case is extremely non-vital, I will anesthetize because there could be some vital tissue laying around in those lateral canals and the patient will experience that and I don't want them to have that experience. Can you do this without anesthesia? Yes, you can. When I performed PIPS for the first time here, what he experienced was the pulses of this photon-induced photoacoustic streaming of the fluid. He could feel the pulses in his entire mandible and it, being amazed at such low energy settings that he could experience that and feel that, even being anesthetized. I gave him a mental block, by the way. You can see how pristine the canal system looks just looking down with the microscope. So I'm going to place the sodium hypochlorite in because this tooth is non-vital. And I'm going to, I'll use the word activate, the sodium hypochlorite. Photon-induced photoacoustic streaming moves the fluid in three dimensions throughout the entire root canal system, even into the lateral canals. We will show you this when you come to your advanced training after you purchase the laser. We can prove that to you. And we know from scientific fact that utilizing just a syringe to irrigate that due to hydraulics and other mechanisms it's impossible for those apical third to actually have an exchange of fluid unless you enlarge the canal system to at least a size 40 or greater. Well the beauty of PIPS is you don't have to do that and you still get nice beautiful three-dimensional cleansing and fluid movement within the root canal system. Because we're using such low energies there is no photothermal component to utilizing PIPS. It's just moving the fluid in three dimensions throughout the entire root canal system of canals and anastomosis and lateral canals. You'll see here I'm allowing the micro bubbling to occur with the sodium hypochlorite dissolving tissue tags. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well I can do this utilizing ultrasonics. Well, the repetition rate with ultrasonics is so fast and the heat generation with ultrasonics is so high that you don't get the three-dimensional fluid movement with ultrasonics that you do get with the source of lasers using photoacoustic streaming or PIPs. It's the perfect energy source to move fluid in the root canal system. Once I'm done and just about to finish the root canal, I'll place EDTA and I'll use PIPS to move the EDTA three-dimensionally throughout the root canal system. 
removing any evidence of smear layer that could be present. I had to add a little more EDTA there. I blew it out with the pips in the initial initial blow there. Again, we'll look at the micro bubbling. And one of the things I want to encourage you all to think about is you're watching this under a microscope. Using a laser with magnification is so important. A minimum of 4.5x magnification is really imperative to use with a laser to really see how this laser is so efficient. I like to think in terms of what we're doing here is micro neurovascular surgery. So why shouldn't we wear good magnification to see what it is we're, we're actually doing in the root canal system? Once the smear layer is removed, I'll use copious amounts of water and PIPS irrigation, utilizing the power of PIPS to finish cleansing the entire system in three dimensions. And then my our SEMs actually show this type of of picture when we take them. All these collagen fibrils are still in place because, again, it's not photothermal. It's very little temperature change. The collagen fibers remain intact. And then I use a resin, endores from Ultradent, to obturate. And think of this resin tags amongst those collagen fibers and what a nice bond we achieve. PIPS, photon-induced photoacoustic streaming. Very easily done with the PowerLaze AT.